if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 13 of the career mode RTG, the return to glory with Nottingham Forest here on FIFA 16. We start with a game against a side that was sat 23rd in the league as we headed into this game, Bolton Wanderers. They're struggling, struggling in real life and they're struggling right now in FIFA 16 in this first season in this new series as well. So we were hoping that we could continue our personal good form after a good victory against local rivals Derby in the last episode and a couple of good results as well elsewhere that uh, we could still put in a, another good one here and get ourselves three points against a weaker opposition and continue our run towards the playoffs, maybe even automatic promotion towards the Barclays Premier League in this first season. Renato Sanchez quickly around the corner to Britta Sombolonga into uh, Eric Lehigh here to Turns inside the right back playing at left back. And that's quite a finish from a defender. Turns inside onto his right foot. Obviously, Panios is currently out injured, which is why Lehigh's starting at left back. And uh, we've got Michael Mancien at right back currently. A really top finish, actually. Really pleased with that from the American. And he rifles us 1-0 in front after five minutes. I was quite pleased with that. Obviously, you want to get off in, to a good start in any game. But considering the weak opportunity, weak level of the opposition, sorry, I wanted to ensure that we got off to a good start just to make sure that, you know, it kind of put them on the back foot and once you put a side that are in bad form and low on confidence on the back foot, they tend to make more mistakes and tend to open up you know, more uh, more space at the back and opportunities for you to just pick them apart even more. Chris Burke with a good cross in and Nelson Oliveira draws a good save out of Ben Amos, the goalkeeper there. Gets up well to tip that over the top of the bar. It was initially intended for Sombolonga, I think, the cross, but Oliveira is better in the air and just was more dominant uh, in the uh, in the jump with uh, the defender and his strike partner there so uh, he got the chance Jay Spearing though shows good feet to get away from Chris Burke there drills it into uh, Bratton into Shola Amiobi of all players and it's a good save by the goalkeeper just does enough to put the uh, experienced striker off and ensure he got something on it so the defender could clear it away so into the second half we go Michael Mancien around the corner to Nelson Oliveira here who's distinctly unlucky not to have made it 2-0 there shot comes back off the woodwork and then well cleared from the second cross we'll have another cross though this time from a set piece from the corner keeper comes to try and punch it and gets nowhere near it Nelson Oliveira as we saw earlier is very very good in the air or as we've seen all series long is very very good in the air and the keeper tried to commit couldn't get anywhere near it and uh, it's a solid header from Nelson so that makes it 2-0 Wellington Silver though coming down the right hand side despite being low on stamina and uh, you know up against a, a stronger player does really well so once you get the cross in they get slightly fortunate with the way that uh, they get a goal back there a Wellington Silva does really well to uh, get past Jordan Ibe despite losing the ball once in that run. And then the way the ball rebounds back to the striker after the header comes down off the bar is particularly fortunate for Bolton Wanderers. Nelson Oliveira though coming away here, good feet, good turn, lays it into Henry Lansbury. The obvious pass in that particular position then sprayed out wide to Chris Burke. Cross is always going to come in from that position, in it comes. How Jordan Ibe has been able to win that header to turn it back into the net from that angle, not entirely too sure. I think he may have uh, broken a couple of vertebrae in the top of his uh, back slash the bottom of his neck there, if that were real life. Well, facing away from goal and his head is just kind of almost in an unnatural position, just twisted to get that header on target. It's a good finish, but I'm not entirely too sure he'd have been able to do that in real life, but never mind. If you remember from the uh, earlier episodes in the season, we actually played Bolton Wanderers in the Capital One Cup and got a 4-3 victory in the end, whereas uh, here it's, uh, it's really not quite so uh, close. It's very one-sided with 3-1 up this time around. A lot more solid defensively and still as deadly offensively. We're trying to make it four here if we can. Burke around the corner to Oliveira. Similar position to where he hit the post earlier on and this time he can't even get it on target at all and drags it past the woodwork. But we do get a solid 3-1 victory. Really pleased with that. Three points to go towards our league campaign. And then after playing the side that were 23rd in the league, we come into the next one to play the side that were 24th in the league, or at least prior to the Bolton game, they were 24th. Leeds actually won their uh, match in the previous match day, so they were only, 
uh, I say only, there were only like 20th as we headed into this one because it's still pretty tight down the bottom of the league. But uh, Leeds theoretically should be, and on paper, should be difficult opposition uh, against, uh, especially at home at Ellen Road. So we'll see how we get on here. We got a good victory against Bolton, as you might have expected, against one of the worst sides in the division. Leeds, technically, throughout their season so far, have been one of the worst sides in the division. But with that victory in the previous match day, they might be slightly high on confidence. We're trying to get ourselves a goal to go in front quite early on like we did last time although it's 25 odd minutes in before we have the first chance and this shot is well blocked by the defender from the resulting corner Henry Lansbury's going to drill it out to the edge of the box where Chris Burke is waiting gets it under control and smashes it into the back of the net we are 1-0 up after 25 minutes and I was hoping that was going to set the tone for this game the same way it did against Bolton again another chance was to come before half time Renato Sanchez across Derek Lehigh scored a great goal in the first game and really unfortunate not to score another quality goal in this one at the ball cannoning back off the crossbar just before uh, the half-time whistle went and just after the uh, second half had started we were going to have a chance as well because he just barely outside of the 46th minute yet yeah, here's Henry Lansbury he's going to turn inside and we saw Eric Lehigh have a good shot from distance this one from Lansbury was worth the shot bit of space on the edge of the box but unfortunately not anywhere near as good as Lehigh's effort and it wasn't really too much of a problem for the goalkeeper just got uh, planted his feet stood behind it Mirko, and he, um, Mirko Antonucci here turns inside I was going to call him Mirko Vucinic there for a minute uh, turns inside the defender he was tugging at his shirt actually and I was a little bit nervous of giving away a penalty so I kind of let him run for a little bit hoping that uh, or kind of expecting my goalkeeper to make a save at the near post and uh, he didn't so 1-1, one, one, never mind, as we continue on in the second half. Bit of poor defending from Leeds, and uh, Burke picks it up. His British Samba longer. he's going to get it around the corner to Jordan Ibe. Scored a couple of very good goals for us recently. Draws a good save out of uh, Silvestre in between the sticks. So 20 minutes from time, we made a change. Michael Mancien coming off for Sam Barham, and Chris Cohen coming on for Renato Sanchez to hopefully give us uh, a little bit more of, uh, you know, attacking impetus through the middle especially through Chris Cohen and I was hoping Sam Byram considering he's a right back and right mid would kind of go on the overlap and give us extra options down the right hand side but in fact it was Leeds with really good football that had the next chance shame the finish didn't match the move unfortunately for them it went well wide from Dallas but so uh, we were going to have one more chance before the game was out in the 89th minute can we get ourselves a late winner here British Sombolonga turns the defender really well still under pressure from the same defender but gets a bit more space after running away from the box gets it to Henry Lansbury shot deflected by Sol Bamba actually moved it further towards the goal but it went out for a corner uh, unfortunately nothing came from it so we get a one-all draw away from home at Ellen Road and we get a 3-1 win at home against Bolton Wanderers would have preferred six points to be completely honest from those two games considering they're both down the bottom of the table but Leeds in fairness to them high on confidence from their win in the previous game put up a very good performance and defended very well against us so uh, we can't blame ourselves too much for, uh, for that particular result we as you can see having quite good growth throughout the squad so far this season we do have a very young team whether they be our own players or players that are in on loan like uh, Ali Adnan and Joe Gomez etc but our own players are growing nicely as well Sam Byron Chris Cohen uh, Ibisilio is on loan technically so uh, he's growing quite well as well Maxwell Corne not played as much football as I might have liked to have given him so far but obviously he was injured for a little while as well uh, Ben Osborne hasn't played at all I don't think maybe one or two substitute appearances but he's up two overall as well we have quite a few lone players that were already in prior to the start of uh, this season. Uh, Robert Tess has come to me and said that he wants to leave in the January transfer window. I have no problems with that whatsoever at all. So uh, he'll be moved on. And uh, hopefully our young scout future star goalkeeper will turn 16 soon so that I can actually call him up to the first team and uh, you know start playing him in some uh, some lowly cup games and hopefully some uh, lowly league games as well. Bolton moved from 24th to 20 or from 23rd to 24th sorry and Leeds are now 21st in the league thanks to their victory and then point against us. Uh, we're second in the table but Hull City are starting to move away at the top five points clear after 17 games of the season. We're just over a third of the way through so we'll hopefully continue to uh, hold that second place but it's very tight with uh, the side three places below us only being two points behind so that's all for today's episode drop the video a like if you enjoyed of course and subscribe if you haven't already check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days whether it be this series the my player series or the valencia career mode series that went up earlier on this afternoon i'll be streaming tonight as well so check the twitch channel link in the description down below and follow me on twitter as well all links to social media are on screen and in the description but for now i'll see you next time